So you get fascinated with the good which you desire. You ladies and you men, get those men's fashion magazines and get fascinated with those models and those fashions. I usually keep magazines open all on the floor around wherever I am. If you want to change your physique, have models around you with the kind of physique that you're interested in having. Become fascinated with that. And I can't be too redundant about this. Say with me, be fascinated. Be fascinated. Say it again. Be fascinated. Say it the third time. Be fascinated. All right, you remember that. Whatever you want, just become fascinated with it. And identify yourself with those people who are being, doing, and having the good which you desire. And I want, want to hear tell us more of you going to those libraries. I was in Pittsburgh overnight last month. Saw the Carnegie Museum and library and so on. Andrew Carnegie, one of the successful industrialists of bygone years that I'm fascinated with. And I'm going to go back to Pittsburgh just simply to go through the museum and look around. I had the pleasure also since I spoke with you last to go to Birmingham, Alabama to be the keynote speaker for A.G. Gaston Day in Birmingham. If you remember, I'd never met him, but I'd speak about him. You see, I became fascinated with him. And who do you think was invited to come to be the keynote speaker? The state of Alabama declared A.G. Gaston Day. There's a black man in Birmingham that's been a multimillionaire for decades. You see, I became fascinated with him, so fascinated with him until that fascination drew us together. You see, your fascination will draw you together with whatever you're fascinated with. But you see, too many times people permit themselves to become negatively fascinated. And you know, this is how the so-called, the proverbial snake charms people. You've heard of the snake that charms people? It catches a person's eyes with his shiny, beady eyes, and the person becomes so fascinated that they can't take their eyes off of the snake. You see, people get fascinated with negatives like that. Today, people are fascinated with poverty. That may sound silly, but it's the truth. People are fascinated with poverty, so damn fascinated about it, until poor people now brag about being poor people. <laughs> and want people to pay them for being poor <laughs> and never get enough. <laughs> yeah, but proud of that, we poor people. <laughs> you give us some more welfare, we poor people. <laughs> yes, we are. We poor people, we are. Fascinated with poverty. People are fascinated with sickness. This is why a whole lot of these little old ladies never get well. They're fascinated with their sickness. <laughs> the, the human mind, the human world mind is fascinated with negatives anyway. That's why you've got some of these movies that you have out today. And some of these television programs. People fascinated with trouble. That's why you have these, these television serials like Dark shadow and edge of night. <laughs> As the world turns, people are just fascinated. People are fascinated with horror and terror. That's why we have so much horror and terror. Let some, th some terrible thing happen, some horrible thing happen. Some act of terror takes place. All of the news media has gone to it. Running, sirens blowing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. People looking out windows. And these television programs are trying to outdo one another as to who can depict the worst tragedy. <laughs> Went to see the movie Love Story. 
when it first came out some years ago. A well, love story sounds good, doesn't it? So, well, this got to do with love. I'm going to go and see it. A tragic story. It ends with, with some young girl just got married, dying of some incurable disease in the hospital. And this was the day when school was out in New York. And at the end of that movie, all of the, the, the theater was full of teenage girls. And at the end of that, it was just like a funeral. <laughs> all of these hundreds of girls in there just fascinated by this tragedy. You better watch that. Fascinated by General Hospital. <laughs> Fascinated by Boris Karloff. <laughs> Let me tell you, the, the, the human world of mine is a dog. This is what the apostle meant when he said, it is not subject to the law of God. The carnal mind cannot please God because it is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can it be. This is why again, to quote Jesus, he said, you must be born again. <laughs> born out of the world mind into the Christ mind. Born out of the poverty mind into the infinite mind. Born out of the sick mind into the well mind. You must be born again. You must get a new mind, a new heart. All right, so you watch the power of your fascination. Ask yourself, what am I doing with my power of fascination? What fascinates me? When I see an accident on the highway, do I get all fascinated and slow down and pull over and look to try to see blood? <laughs> I told you if you see an accident, if there's anything positive that you can do, you should do it. If there is nothing positive that you can do physically, Walk on by, send a good thought, and go on about your damn business. <laughs> you don't help people by just looking and staring and gazing. <laughs> and you don't help yourself because you draw some of that same thing to you. Like these people who fascinated with fire. Some of you, every time you hear the siren blow, you got your head out the window. Because <laughs> you just look and see if it's your building. If it's not, then you... <laughs> it's like the minister was preaching one Sunday morning way out in the country, you know. And so the fire truck went by blowing the siren and everybody got a little restless, you know. So the minister finally said, listen, he said, if you all are wondering where that uh, fire truck is going, he said, don't worry about it, it's my house that's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good thing, ask you, what am I fascinated? You can tell what you're fascinated by, by the way you react to your newspaper and by what you look at on your television screen. That's how you can test your fascination. Looking at these stories where it shows how, look how that man does that poor woman. <laughs> You're setting yourself up for some of that same stuff. See? <laughs> Since some of you women subconsciously not knowing, you're projecting that into your home. Mm, getting quiet now. You see, because once you take on the mood, the feeling of something, you, you are, you're going to bring it to you. You are definitely going to create that in your life.